these tripods and they're called travel tripod or table tripod. Most of them extend to 41 inches. These sun packs, sun pack 4200XL I got from Best Buy. Um, the Polaroid 42 inch travel tripod and the Vivitar I got I got from Amazon.com. Not quite sure of the exact seller, but I did notice that they're all real similar in their makeup. They have a side to side and an up and down, and you can tighten it up, which I which I like. And they all have the ability to be extended. So I'm just going to go through a couple of scenarios here. I'm going to get these opened up. And we're going to talk a little bit about the Polaroid and a little bit about the Vivitar and also a little bit about the Sun Pack. And give you an idea what I how I use them and maybe how you can use them. So I'm going to get these opened up. So let's take out the Vivitar first. So again, up and down, side to side. This seems pretty tight right here. This little contraption, what it does, it allows you to t turn the angle of the camera. And that is the one thing that's been a problem with the sun, sun pack is that it starts to wobble a little bit more and more. These are actually old ones that I've had and there's a little a little space right here to allow this to uh, connect or a little slot for it to fall into and the and the tab broke so now it's got a lot of play in it which basically means that it's not solid. So this this is seeming pretty solid and the distance between is far, so it's not just gonna snap off. So I'm liking that already about the Vivitar. I had to cut this package open, but this is seeming real interesting. This one's a little bit different. Actually, it comes with a carrying case. This one's different. The Vivitar is, I'm sorry, the Polaroid. The Polaroid's a little bit different because it actually has a side to side up and down. Looks like some sort of a cam. So that you can position it any which way you want. That might last longer because it doesn't have that function right here whereas this one does and it just allows you to turn maybe from landscape to portrait type huh that's good that is really really good I'm liking that real fast because that means this is going to last a long time. It's going to be a little bit tough to get used to, but I think I can handle it. And it comes with a little carrying case, which I'll never use, but maybe I can use it for some of my GoPro accessories. Some of those little, uh, little uh, things like that, those little screws. Oh, see what I'm saying? So that might work out great. So of course these tripods are for a uh, smaller camera. Here I have a GoPro on one. Here I have my Samsung HMX F90, which I uh, use quite often. And I have the, the legs are locked in 
right here. So that's a, another feature is that you can lock the legs. It takes a little bit of effort to get it exactly right unless you're going to pull them all the way out. But if you pull them to that place, lock it in, There's a, it's on two. You can do the third one. You just got to get it, pull this, this one, whatever that next one is, all the way out. Then if it's locked, you can push these back in to lock it in that state and then just unlock it and they all go right back in. So I do use that quite a bit as well. Most of the time I'm just holding it like this and I've shot for hours uh, just holding it like this and I can quickly put it on the ground without setting it in the water or in the mud or in the grass or wherever uh, on a hot asphalt. I've always got a place I can put it that's out of the out of the ground. I can uh, immediately pull it out to the 41 inches and either film myself doing something or I can film something with tripod because it's quick. And then I most of the time I use it just like this as a handheld. Um, I'm holding it, holding my camera with like that because I can do it a lot more consistent than trying to hold this little tiny thing like this. It, it's, it's just moving around. So this I can do a lot more consistently. The GoPro, I don't really use much on a tripod unless I'm unless I'm shooting something, uh, time lapse or something, I might put the tripod out. Uh, I don't really use the GoPro in this fashion because I've got other uh, chesty and some other things that I that I typically use. I've got the jaws where I clamp it on something, but uh, don't really use the GoPro uh, that much for that. This is the one that I use uh, for that. And a lot of my uh, videos that are on my channel, I've this is the camera that I've that I've used. Versus a regular tripod, you know, this thing is massive. So the difference between these two, this one of course is a lot more sturdy and a lot easier to use when you're in one place. You can put it on, you've got a lot of control, it's big. Um, however, when you're moving around and you're in a place that's not uh, as uh, under control, you've got this is very versatile. It fits, I can throw it right in my backpack. I can take it apart and, and make it fit where this one just will not fit. Again, Polaroid, the 42 inch travel, or the Vivitar, and based on what I'm seeing, the Vivitar has improved this transition by putting more space between, and the Polaroid is even better because it doesn't even have it. All we're doing is tightening up on the cam, and you can do sideways and up and down uh, side to side and up and down in the same instance, which I don't really use this at all anyway. I use more this and this. So that's promising. That's promising right there. This is my typical situation here. When I get it on, it, it's it's got a little bit of play in it. Just, just a little bit. Not, not enough to probably worry about. So tighten it up. Ah, that may be in the. Uh, oh, that's what I don't like. Let's see. Let's tighten that up real good. Ah, okay. Still got a little bit of play. Not much. So now. That was the Vivitar. So it'll last for so long. Basically, this is the uh, third sun pack I have. Bought them at Best Buy. I've wore two of them out because this, this little tab breaks right here. There's that little tab, that, that one's just hanging on by a thread. That breaks. So basically that makes it loose. So now I'm gonna put this Polaroid on. And one of the things that I saw about it, we got to get that tightened up. So once that's tightened up, 
still wants to move just a little bit so I might need to put a shim in there but that has no play whatsoever once this is tightened up and I can move it up and down and that just doesn't exist it's got a little cam ball in there and I can move it from side to side and once I get it where I want it which is just basically going to be level because I can hold the camera so I'm really liking that from this Polaroid it's it's solid that is a solid mount and it's just not going to break or come apart unless it just breaks completely like if I drop it or something well that's a little different so good good so basically there's a a ball in there some sort of a cam I think that might be a cam this is solid right here and then when you loosen this one up that whole ball gets loose so you just put it where you want it tighten this up and it's solid there's there's nothing to there's nothing to move this one moves just a little bit these move a lot these are well worn this moves just a little bit. This moves none. This is the Polaroid.